Hey everybody, this is Chris with Overclockers Club. It is headset time. Every once in a while you get some offshoot brand. These come out of China. They're usually pretty inexpensive. Uh, but are they any good? So that's what I'm going to try and figure out today if this is worth the price. And we'll go over that a little bit later. But this is by a company called Fifine, Fifine, I'm not sure how you exactly pronounce that. It says it's an Ampla Game H9 uh, gaming headset, USB plug and play. That's nice. Of course, I mean, headphones. Suitable for PC, Mac, and PlayStation. Uh, detachable microphone, that's nice. Locking adjustable headband. Comfortable soft material. Cozy earmuffs. Okay, we got a 3.5 millimeter connector that plugs into your little controller here. So there's a mic switch button, headset volume, headset reduction, so plus makes it louder, minus makes it quieter, microphone volume increase, microphone volume reduction, and then a 7.1 virtual sound effect. Uh, handy inline control, so it's got a USB uh, ports. These are not wireless, this is a wired headset durable headset cable. So it works with uh, PC, Mac, PS4 and 5, Xbox, uh, compatible with all those. Uh, let's see. Okay, headset connector, 3.5 plus USB. So you've got two ways to plug this in. Microphone element condenser, so it's a condenser mic. Polar pattern, it's omnidirectional, so you can't change that on this one. Clear audio quality, strong compatibility, plug and play, lightweight design, in light and control, and detachable mic. Manufacturer, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. I will slaughter it. So, let's see. I think these are also available in white. I'll pull up the website here in a little bit. But I think you can get these in uh, black or white, maybe even pink. So here's the user guide. Let's see how well this, sometimes these things are horrible. The translations to English sometimes are uh, pretty bad. Let me zoom out a little here. So uh, let's see. Uh, from what I'm seeing in a quick glance, these actually look pretty good. Yeah, I'll take a look at these in a little more detail here. Wow, these are actually <laughs> probably one of the nicest uh, nicest sets of instructions I've seen. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. All right, so let's see what we get. These are the headphones. So it has the faux leather uh, across the top of the headband. It is very soft, very pliable. The ear cups there again, also very soft and pliable, but they are they are vinyl. Looks like they rotate freely. Doesn't look like they twist too much, and they are adjustable. Each side, in case you got one ear that hangs a little lower than the other. Uh, here is, okay, so this is your strain relief for your wire. That's pretty important there because this can take a pretty good jolt sometimes if you forget that you have your headphones on and you get it from your chair and start to walk off. There's your jack there that plugs in. Uh, you can plug that directly into your PC, into the headphone port, and then this should be the controller. So yeah, so this has got a USB connector right there. And something fell on the ground. I have to get that. I think it was a microphone. So there's a little controller, just like it showed on the box. Looks like there's a little LED ring around that. So when this is uh, on, my guess is it probably lights up. And you can turn the microphone off or on so you can mute it. It has a little clip there. And then I'll measure this to see how long it is. And yes, that was the detachable microphone, so it is bendable and it holds whatever shape pretty much that you bend it into. So this would plug into, 
let's see, it's got a shape to match, so it looks like it goes in. Yeah, plugs in like that. So if you're wearing your headphones and you don't want the microphone there, you can just pop it out. Yeah, there's your microphone. All right, so really the next thing to do is to give them a run and power them up. And before I plug them in, I did unravel these and measure them. This one is about 80 inches long. Overall, that's all the way to the end of the little controller here. And uh, this one that's attached to the headphones, this is about 40 inches long here to the end of the plug. Okay, so right now I'm using the Cougar microphone that you can see right here, and I'm using Audacity to record the audio. So just for comparison, uh, we'll use this microphone first, and then we'll use the microphone on the headphones. So now what I want to do is a quick test uh, so you can see what this microphone sounds like. And I'll compare it to this Cougar gaming microphone here. Uh, usually these little included microphones uh, actually sound pretty good. So we'll do a real quick test. Okay, we're going to use this Cougar gaming microphone here as sort of the initial test. Now I'm about a foot or so away and you can adjust the gain to get the best sound. But you can see I'm using Audacity there to record. And this is just to sort of compare what a microphone like this sounds like uh, as compared to the microphone that comes with the headset. Now I'm actually uh, using the microphone here and uh, you can get an idea of what it sounds like. And it actually has uh, a very nice, um, I guess a full-bodied sound if you want to say that. It, it doesn't sound like uh, some of the cheaper microphones that you find on the headphones that sort of do enough to get the job done. But uh, this one actually has a pretty nice sound to it. Now what's interesting, if you look at the manufacturer and you go to their website, they've got a lot more than just a couple of headphones. They've got quite a few items here. If we look, they've got a ton of microphones, all kinds of uh, high-end professional microphones, interfaces. We've got headsets, which we looked at one of them today. Got a lot of wireless components, a handful of speakers, uh, looks like some spare parts. So they've got quite a range of products. Now it makes sense. You know, a little earlier when I mentioned how nice I thought this microphone sounded, well, that's what these people do. They make microphones. And continuing on from the manufacturer webpage, we drill down to the actual product page right here. Again, this is the Amplagame H9 gaming headset. All the information you need about it is here. You can see the list price is normally $37. And 99 cents. It does come in black, white, and pink, like I thought earlier. Let's see what it looks like in pink. Oh, okay. Yeah, not bad if you like pink and white. There's what it looks like in white. And of course, we have the black set today, so we know exactly what that looks like. But you can get some more information here on the manufacturer webpage, and I pretty much covered everything that's on here. Uh, for the most part, and at the bottom, there are your specifications. All right, so uh, I did some gaming, listened to some music, uh, Call of Duty, uh, Battlefield, did a little F1 racing, and they don't sound too bad. You know, there's not a lot of bass response. You're not going to get the kind of performance that you would out of some really expensive high-end headphones. And the 7.1, the little surround sound button here, uh, it sounded good in some things and not good in others. It's just, uh, it's one of those things that comes down to personal preference. Uh, comfort, they're fine. They're fairly light, so uh, sometimes headphones can be really heavy on your head. But uh, these aren't too bad. I like the way that the microphone here detaches. That's nice. But as far as bang for the buck, you know, right now, if I can get the microphone back in there. Ah, got to go in at the right angle. There we go. You know, right now, prices are all over the place sometimes on Amazon, but as a Black Friday deal right now, these things are $30.39. So uh, compare that to headphones that are $150, $200. And you can see the expectations for the sound. Uh, of course, you have to, you have to uh, expect that these won't have the uh, sound quality that you would get on an expensive set of headphones. 
But overall, uh, they do what they're supposed to do. You just plug them in and uh, they just work. So overall, I would give these the Overclockers Club Silver Award. So this is Chris with Overclockers Club. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.